Living near mountains, woodlands, and wild places is a dream come true for some, except during wildfire season. That's why a lot of concerned people are now working with local planners to make sure that wildfire protection is part of the process when communities are located near the most beautiful and wildest parts of our state. Learn more at planning.org. This has been a public service announcement of the American Planning Association and 90.7 FM WGCC. We're back on the 90.7 Music FM. Um, back to the star decision to, um, for Micah Nokia, a.k.a. Lose Streak. Um, Hitchcock made it clear from the beginning that he thought Kyrie was a great goaltender. leader. said he and Ole had some best camps. There was no doubt he wanted to ride Kyrie and play the bishop number one. It's just that no, one of Hitchcock's veteran eye tests over a substance called doesn't his work. Kyrie's more than just a bad 3-4 games. He melts under pressure. He's as consistent as a player gets. At 34, he is, with five years of failure in Dallas, it is time to find someone else to be bring the bear to pick up. As for McKenna, he's averaging third stringer. He's a career third stringer, but probably does deserve a star or two. The Vegas, Pittsburgh, and several other teams have the role of the third and fourth line. So like, it's not like 2014, where another third stringer with poor numbers like Enroth won four in a row. Sometimes you need to shake things up. Um, this is under the, a lot of um, questionable decisions under uh, Hitchcock. Um, bad uses of the young prospects, approximate period per game on ice time, because they just use the switch you ashore, no change in strategy, overall use of the elite players. Any coach not named Hitchcock would be a large number of poor coaches on the hot seat. Um, so, Stars fans disappointed and. Um, Hitchcock, I think he should be given at least one more year, but if these problems continue next year, he should he should definitely um consider moving on. 76ers um on an eleven game win streak. Um Boston and Philly are the future teams for the East. Um if once the king, what, what, if LeBron James leaves, um the peak at the right time reminds me of the season the the Sixers had in two thousand before Iverson had an MVP campaign. So Philly fans have a lot to root for. Eagles, Villanova, and now the Sixers. Um, meanwhile, the Lakers are two and ten since giving them the draft pick. They'll still win without Embiid. Ben Simmons is a real deal. Um, so what are your thoughts on that? Hit me up on Twitter at JRed Show. Um, um, It seems like Kyle Kazoom was trying to ruin the Spurs season. The Raptors beat the exhausted Celtics on Wednesday, but also was the number one seed in the East. After some late intrigue from the last couple of weeks, Toronto just needs one more win over Boston to claim number one. Um, 76 is once in a row. Um, um, Cavs are still the favorite. As long as they have LeBron James, they'll still be the, the top. Um, um, let's see, um, the Cavaliers have, are in a super tight battle with Philadelphia for the third seed. Um, the, the snap that street against Holman, the Cavaliers need a strong performance. Cleveland 7-0 at, 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 at ATS in its last seven games. Um, our checks to base, um, so what are your thoughts on the NBA? Who do you think will win the NBA Finals? Um, The Raptors are slowly looking very impressive. They're, they're the second unit to score 44 points against Toronto when, when all the players are injured. Boston's injuries are glaring. Boston may need maybe the East number two seed, but the injuries have not demolished the pedestal. Irving's out in death with a key injury. Marcus Smart is torn a tendon in his thumb, which sounds painful. Daniel Thies has a, a key stretch for four of the bench towards Minskis and is out for the season. Not to mention Gordon Hayward's been out for the season. As a result, Terry Rosa is seen as the lion's share of the miss in the points guards, with rookie wing Jason Tatum filling this back up. Without Irvin's wild playmaking ability, Boston's offense becomes stagnant at times. It's resulted in some questionable drives by Rosa. There's not much the Celtics could do to create for the team. Rosa is just two points on one of nine shooting. He is at 100%, still recovering from an ankle injury. But the Celtics need him to be as usual to find himself as a chance in April. The East playoff picture is virtually solidified, and Boston will face either Milwaukee, Washington, or Miami. If Irvin doesn't return to the start of the playoffs at this point, he's unclear to return next season. 
and Toronto's bench model had a great. It's the best save of the day again for the Raptors' second unit account for 44 points, 15 for Fred Vanfield, who's making the most improved player of the year. Toronto, I think, could take down um, Cleveland, but I think it's going to be Cleveland versus Houston with Houston winning. But what are your thoughts? Hit me on Twitter at JRed Show. Um, again, back into the music. Come next is um, Apocalyptical, I don't care. So keep a lot of time, 0.7, the music FM. <laughs> 